In today's video, I will be showing you how to fix problems with Origin. If your Origin is not loading, or your Origin just keeps crashing all the time, and you just keep having a lot of problems with the program, then with a bit of luck, one of the methods that I will be showing you in this video will hopefully resolve the problems you are having. But before we get started, please subscribe to this channel if you did enjoy this video and it did help you because every subscribe really does help us produce more videos and plus we have almost hit 40,000 subscribers now and that is thanks to all of you. And also as always don't forget to drop a like. The first thing we want to do is just make sure Windows 10 is completely up to date. If you don't have the latest Windows updates installed then that could easily be the cause of the problem. The first thing you need to do is open the start menu and you now need to type in update. You now need to click on check for updates and you now need to go ahead and click check for updates again this button here and if your system does find any new updates then you will be prompted to install those Windows updates. Go ahead and install those updates, restart your PC and then see if that resolved the issues you are having with Origin. If that didn't fix the issues you are having, don't panic because there are still lots of other things we can try. And the next thing is to right click on your Origin shortcut. You then need to click on properties and you now need to click on compatibility. We now need to tick run this program as an administrator and press apply and OK. You now need to double click on Origin and see if that fixed the issue you're having. With a bit of luck, Origin will now launch. If it didn't launch, then we now want to right click on the shortcut and go open file location. And you now need to scroll down until you find Origin Fin Setup Internal.exe. You now need to right click on this file and go to properties. And you now need to click on compatibility and then tick run this program as an administrator, press apply and OK. But this time before running Origin, we want to now open up Task Manager by right clicking on our taskbar and then clicking Task Manager. And you now need to just make sure Origin is not running in the background. As you can see, it's not currently running under my apps, which is good. If I just quickly have a scan in my background processes, there we go, there is actually Origin Web Helper running there. End the task, anything related to Origin, just completely end it. Once you have gone through it all, go ahead, close Task Manager, and then launch Origin, and see if that resolved the issues you are having. If Origin still isn't playing ball, then the next thing we want to do is make sure everything is still closed in Task Manager again. And you then need to go back to this folder, the Origin folder, but this time we want to actually delete the origin fin setup internal.exe. Just right click on the file and go delete. There we go. As you can see, mine has now gone. Now go ahead, launch origin and see if that resolved the issue. If that didn't, then we now want to actually right click on the origin shortcut. And you now need to click on troubleshoot compatibility. This will now search for any compatibility issues. We can go ahead and click on try recommended settings and see if that resolves the issue. You can click on test the program and then see if Origin launches. If it doesn't, press next and then we can test the program with a different compatibility setting. Go through this troubleshooter and see if it can find a compatibility that will resolve the issues that you're having. If the troubleshooter didn't manage to fix the problem, then we now want to make sure our security is not blocking Origin from working. A lot of times programs like Origin, Steam, anything like that can actually be blocked by your firewall. If it cannot get access to the internet, then Origin is not going to work. It's not going to let you sign in. So open up your security software and just disable it for five minutes and then just open Origin and then see if it's working. If it is working when you got your security disabled, then you know the security is causing the issue. This also includes any antivirus programs you may have installed on your computer as well. Just disable it for a few minutes and if Origin does then start working, 
then you need to add Origin to the exception list in the security programs. Also, just remember when your security is disabled, you are at risk of security threats. So just keep that in mind. You really do want to keep it to the bare minimum of having your security disabled. If that doesn't work, then we now need to go to our C drive. So open up File Explorer and click on C drive. And you now need to open up the program data folder. If you cannot see this folder, then you need to click on view at the top on the ribbon. And you now need to click on hidden items. Just make sure this is ticked and you will then be able to see the folder. I'm going to go ahead and open the folder now. And we now need to find the origin folder. If I scroll down a bit, there we go, there's origin. And we now need to open up the download cache folder. And you now need to delete any files that are within this folder. Once you have deleted the files, go ahead and restart your computer this time and then launch origin. If that didn't help, then we now need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. We now want to install the latest Visual C++. As you can see, there are two options. We have the 64-bit option and you have the 32-bit option. I'm going to go ahead and click on the 64-bit option, which is the X64. If you have a 32-bit version of Windows, you need to click on X86. You then need to go Save File and we now need to run the setup file. You now need to press I agree if you accept to the terms and then press install. Once the install has finished, you now need to go ahead and restart your computer. And once the computer has restarted, go ahead and launch Origin. And with a bit of luck, that would have fixed the problem. If after restarting your computer and launching Origin did not resolve the issues you're having, then that only now brings us to uninstalling Origin and then installing it again. To do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then click on apps and features. And you now need to type in the search list origin and you now need to click on origin. We then need to click on uninstall and uninstall again. And as you can see, it does have a little warning here. Are you sure you want to uninstall? Removing origin may prevent certain EA games from functioning. If your origin isn't working anyway, there's no harm in uninstalling. I'm going to go ahead and uninstall Origin now. Once Origin has finished uninstalling, we can then go ahead and press finish and close down this settings window here. And before we install Origin again, I'm not sure why it didn't remove the shortcut there. We now need to open the start menu and you now need to actually type in disk and click on disk cleanup. We now want to keep our C drive selected and press OK. And you now need to click on clean up system files and then click the C drive again. We now need to go through this list and you definitely want to make sure you have the temporary files selected at the bottom. And just go ahead and select as many options as possible. Once you are happy with the options you have selected, but like I said, select temporary files if you can. Go ahead and press OK and delete files. This will now permanently delete those files. And once it has finished doing this cleanup, we can then go ahead and reinstall Origin. As you can see, mine has now finished and you now need to click on the link that's in the description below. You will then end up with a page that looks like this. You now need to go ahead and click on download under Windows and we then need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we can now go ahead and run the setup file. You now need to click on install Origin and you can now choose which options you would like to keep selected and choose where you'd like to install Origin. I actually don't want it to run with my Windows, but I'm happy with everything else. Once you are happy, go ahead and click on I have read and accept if you're happy with the agreement and then click on continue. I'm actually going to unselect share hardware as well. And as you can see, it's now installing Origin. And once Origin has finished installing, with a bit of luck, it should have opened. And as you can see, mine has automatically opened. If yours didn't, go ahead and run the shortcut and see if it worked. With a bit of luck, that did resolve any problems you are having with Origin. And that does bring us to the end of the video. 
I hope you really did enjoy this video and like I said at the start if you did please hit that subscribe button and hit the like button for this video and I will see you all in the next tutorial.